there was a huge explosion. It shook the ground. Next thing I knew, there were lumps of rock raining down all around me and impacting the ground. This is Three National News with John Hawksby. Tonight, Ruapehu erupts under his feet. One man's dramatic story. Farewell to a good, keen man from his family and friends. And workers who have to promise in writing they'll pee in their own time. Good evening. Well, it was just a walk in the park, except the park blew up with three national news cameraman Jeff Mackley just metres away from the explosion. Scientists monitoring Ruapehu from the air saw the shockwave rippling across the ground like an underground nuclear bomb test. For Mackley too, the earth moved, grateful to be shooting in the right place at the right time. A clear, calm day dawned on what would turn out to be the most violent day of activity since Ruapehu burst back into life on Friday. A breathtaking scene from a distance, but up close, a fearsome place to be, as three national news cameraman Jeff Mackley was to find out. up the mountain in the early hours of the morning, but his journey was soon halted due to the dense ash fallout from the volcano. On the way up here, three o'clock this morning, I got caught in a, a huge ash cloud. It was so dense, it was like rain. All you could do was put your, put your helmet on back to front, lie down on the ground and, and just lie there. As the ash cloud cleared and Mackley continued up the mountain, activity was building to the point where seismic equipment installed near the summit overloaded, unable to record a larger reading. At the moment I'm about as close as you can get to the volcano. I'm about two kilometres away from the crater, but even here it's still not safe. Every little while the vent seemed to block up and like it did a few minutes ago, it suddenly releases with an enormous explosion and you get raining molten rock raining down all around you like bombs. Our cameraman wasn't the only person braving the unpredictable eruptions for a closer look. This couple retreated when we flew overhead. Doc has warned that sightseeing is extremely dangerous and has told people to stay off Ruapehu's upper slopes. Earth tremors measured this morning have shown the highest levels of volcanic activity since the mountain started erupting on June the 17th. Magma blown out of the crater then has been replenished from supplies deep within the volcano and that's now fueling the continuous plume of volcanic ash. The ash fallout has closed both ski fields on the mountain indefinitely. Tūroi yesterday laid off all its seasonal workers, but field managers are trying to remain optimistic about the rest of the season. We've got about 50 to 60 staff still working at Tūroi on the mountain. Um, some of the seasonal workers have been asked to either take leave without pay or um, have been given three days notice. They will be brought back on as soon as um, we are able to operate again. The immediate future of the ski fields now depends on two things, more snow and Mount Ruapehu taking an extended breather. Neither, of course, can be guaranteed. I noticed the eruption plume had just suddenly stopped and I thought that was a bit unusual. So I started filming. And the next thing there was this huge explosion. It shook the ground. And the next minute there were rocks raining down all around me and impacting the ground. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty frightening. The current activity has seen the scientists resume 24-hour monitoring of the mountain. Nicole Bremner, 3 National News.